plugins products like TV and Extra is one of the best plugins and themes available in the market. So today we will talk about we will override the default mobile menu in DV. So if you um, view this one in mobile version and then if you toggle this um, you'll see that her menu is a bit long because this website is a, is a big website and it has a lot of services and portfolio so we need to make this um, collapsing so it looks cleaner anyway so I, I I'm gonna use the um, code from the DV and we will also tweak some of the um, codes probably to make things beautiful so the first thing thing you need to do is you need to put the code here so by the way this is from you can access this code from the blog on DV or I will put a link description on my website so you can copy the code so just paste that one and then you save it now after you paste it you can um, just remove this one I think I just added this okay yeah, just, just paste the code. Okay. I'm just copy that one. I just need to remove some of the codes that I added because it was not working. I need to double check it. So yeah, you paste it, the CSS code into the DV theme options and then custom CSS. After that, you go to your menu section and then you put a class called second level so this is your primary um, menu and you if you want this to be hide or if you want this to be hidden this part so currently it, so if you want this to be hidden you need to put the code called second level okay so you need to make this code second level and then all of this, all of the all of the menu that is under the parent menu should have a classes called second level. By the way, if you cannot access the CSS classes, you can go to this part, screen options, and then make sure this option is check CSS classes. Otherwise, you cannot see that one. It wouldn't be visible into the um, sub menu item. So you need to make sure that this one is checked so you can add a classes into your sub menus okay now after you add all the classes all of the after you, after you add class in all of the sub menu let's add the um jquery code okay so this jquery code will, will make our menu collapsing every time we click the hamburger icon okay so in or where you can paste your JS code. So go to the DV theme options and then go to the integration and then put the code in the body section and then a script and then just make sure you add a um, opening and closing script. Okay. And then after that, let's click this and then let's go in there okay now if I hover that and then I click it you can see that they are already collapsing now let's add a second level in this part I think we missed that one so brand that content there should be a second level class and then saved and it, let's refresh it again and let's preview it and as you notice in here um, they are already hidden and our menu is a bit smaller compared before now this one is a default um, icons from DV and we've set it in our CSS class and if you want to change this um, let's go into the theme options again and go to the general and then this is basically the form the number one tree tree so if we go to the um, DV 
mobile a DV icons code okay you'll see all of the list of code from DV in here okay so if I type in this one copy and control F Let's just type in control F DV icon I think this is the yeah I think this one list of icons in DV I wonder where I can get this one so ET modules so ET font modules so yeah it's coming from dvdesigns.com let's so if I type in control 4c this is the plus icon that we see in here okay so if you want to change this this plus icon we can look for a different style that we want so if you want to add a instead of this one um, yeah let's try to add this for temporary so you can also use this one so if, it, if we refresh this control F and then we hover again you'll see that the icon change into folder type okay now what if you're I mean you don't like this module icons from DV it it's just limited for you now we can use font awesome they have a wide variety of icons that you can use so you just need to get the HTML um, you need to get their CDN so click the click that one and you need to sign in to the account okay you forgot my account I think it's let's just look this one so just copy this by the way I'm gonna put it on the blog version so copy that one and then go to your um, integration and then you put it in here okay put it there okay this is the code actually we already have this code so you can either choose that or probably here so I'm gonna put it on my link in my blog version just in case so you copy the CDN into the head section under the DV theme options and then the integration then once you've done that you can then look for a icon in font awesome so simply go to fontawesome.com start now I'm gonna search for plus icon and then you'll see a, a different icons here so more let's step in probably more or yeah if you want this kind of thing so let's say for example I'm gonna get this one okay okay so after that um, you change this font family to font awesome so because it's currently an et mobiles and then you need to change the unicode as well so in here this plus square icons is f0 fe so you change it in here f0 fe and we save it now let's try to um, refresh our page and then let's try this you see that this one is already working and now if we do this one the export since we already re replaced the font family to font awesome we need to replace the unicode as well however you can also do this way if you just want to so i'm going to look for another icon in here so x icon and or try close icon close or probably close so we, we get that one and I'm gonna copy this I'm gonna copy this Unicode by the way the Unicode is normally for CSS and this one is for HTML just in case you're wondering so we copy that one sorry okay, and refreshed and then we refresh the page and this one okay uh, you see that it's already um, 
freaking fine. So that's it guys. I hope you find this helpful. <laughs>